We're here just outside Kirk Michael and we are digging an early Bronze Age burial site. It's about three and a half thousand years old perhaps. This is a site where people came and they buried their dead, their loved ones, friends, family. But also probably to reflect upon their lives. We're finding lots of flints, which is evidence of activity that's happening up here. And we're doing it to try and find out more about the early Bronze Age on the Isle of Man and how it relates to our neighbours across the Irish Sea in Ireland and Scotland and England and Wales too. Bronze Age is so long ago, we're talking about 2200 BC to about 800 BC, that there isn't any writing from this period at all. So the only way that we can find out about the Bronze Age past on the Isle of Man is through archaeological excavation like this. We identified this site because we've known about it for a long time. It's in antiquarian records and on early maps of the island. And we started looking at aerial photographs and data from LIDAR, so a laser that's able to penetrate through the vegetation. The LIDAR in particular, we see really clear uh, round shapes on top of the hill that aren't natural, that look like they are made by people. And that's really important for us. And then once we can look at the geophysics, what we see in the geophysics is a huge disturbance to the ground that the soil has been turned over and that things are going on here. And all of that to an archaeologist says, this isn't natural, this is human activity. In terms of what's gone on at this site specifically, probably they've come along and they've inserted an initial burial probably within a kist, but we don't know yet. And then they've built up a mound over the top of that. They may then have come back and inserted more burials over time, which they might not have done them in the same style as the first one. We could have some inhumations and some cremations. We could have cremations with different kinds of pottery, different types of uh, practices that are associated with it. At some point, they've also added a curb. So there's kind of line of stones you can see running around the edge has gone onto the mound. And for us, the most exciting feature of what we've excavated this year is that at some point, somebody has come along and they've dug into this curb that surrounds our mound and they've inserted a kist, a small stone-lined box where they have placed a collared urn, a kind of early Bronze Age pottery, upside down. So it's gone straight to the museum where we can excavate it in better conditions. And it could be that within that, we've got a cremation. Uh, that would be very exciting for us. Most archaeologists absolutely love a chance to get out, especially when the weather's like this. So there's nothing quite like when you find something really cool and you think, oh, nobody has seen this object for thousands of years. And when you think, oh, this is quite a, a chance to tell us something really new about the past, that for me is really exciting. And I think it is for most archaeologists.